Welcome to Purple Banditos, and welcome back to our Let's Play Pokemon Omega Ruby version. I'm Purple Rodri. Last time we defeated the third Elite Four member, Glacia, the Ice-type Master. And in today's episode, we are ready to continue on with our adventure into the fourth and final room of the Elite Four. This one looks like the most troublesome as of yet. It's looking quite dangerous. It looks like there's fire. It looks like a dragon's face. There's something scary waiting for us in the other side of those doors. But I am very prepared, guys. I have Kaiba up in front like you guys suggested. So let's make our way inside of the fourth room and see who stands on the other side. There's an old man who's probably going to take us. He's probably related to Mr. Briny, you know, the dude who drives the boat, the ship. You know that guy. He's a real cool fella. Hooked me up back in the day. But it looks like we're ready to take on the fourth Elite Four member. So let's go ahead and talk to him. of the Pokemon League Elite Four, Drake the Dragon Master. In their natural state, Pokemon are wild living things. They are free. At times they hinder us, at times they help us. For us to battle alongside Pokemon as partners, do you know what it takes? Do you know what is needed? If you don't, you will never prevail over me! Here we go, Rodri versus the fourth and final member of Hoenn's Elite Four, Drake the Dragon Type Master. Here we go, guys. We are challenged by Elite Four Drake. He's going to send out his Altaria as well. As you guys know, our Altaria is a pretty beast Pokemon now that we have the Mega Evolution. So that's what we're going to be going for. I am going to be Mega Evolving, and we are immediately going to go for the Dragon Pulse. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Push your Mega Bracelet, because we are on it. We are ready. We are ready to kick some Dragon Butt. So let's go ahead and uh, Mega Evolve. I'm quite excited for this one. Dragon types are probably in my top three of favorites. It's probably like Dragon Fire and Electric. Those are probably my top three Pokemon uh, without a dope Pokemon type. So I'm very excited for this one. We are probably going to sweep this gym or uh, this Elite Four. I mean, I don't know why I always call it a gym, uh, but this is going to be a pretty easy one. Everyone's growing levels. I'm not too worried about this one unless something insane comes out of here. If, uh, you know, he pulls out something crazy out of his hat, then cool. Other than that, I'm feeling quite good. I don't think this will be that hard of an elite four member for us yep it's probably gonna be another sweep this is a very easy one guys so thank you to all of you who suggested hey you should put kaiba up in front and get things going but you know what i almost want to make things a little bit exciting i always want to mix things up a little bit so i think i'm gonna switch out i know i know it's kind of weird we could probably sweep this but i'm gonna go ahead and bring out boomy boomy hasn't got any action in the elite four yet so i'm gonna bring uh our boomy out and get some action going on these Flygons. I know, it's a dangerous move, guys. It's a very dangerous move, but, uh, you know, I like to live life on the wild side. That's uh, the type of life I like to live. I like to live on the wild side and just see what happens and, you know, see what crazy things we can get ourselves into. We're, we're already about to take down the Flygon, so I'm not too worried about it. Watch this gym. Or, gym. Why do I always say gym? I mean, I mean, why does this Elite Four seem like it's about to get a little bit harder now? Uh, Salamance. All right, let's go ahead and switch out. I, who am I going to send out against the Salamance? Akaiba's uh, still Mega Evolved, uh, just in case. I'm going to send out Draigor, though. Here comes the fun, guys. You got to you gotta have a little fun with your Pokemon once in a while, you know what I'm saying? You got you to gotta mix it up and get them out here and, uh, you know, start doing things. That's what life's all about, taking risks, taking chances. I'm going to go for the Thunder. Get ready, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. Did it really just... Oh man, when my Pokemon miss, they really miss, don't they? That's that's close to taking us down. And cool, it's up, it's paralyzed. That might help a little bit. Salamence is Drake's strongest Pokemon. Our Thunder isn't gonna miss this time though. Let's go ahead and uh, pack a punch. Do a lot, do a lot, do a lot, do a lot. That did a lot, but with that, it is gonna go ahead and take us down. Ah, uh, that's sad. Sad to see, sad to see, guys. But Draigor is gonna go ahead and go down. I like making things a little complicated. Let's see, who else could I send out? I could send out Tibber with the Ice Fang. All right, let's send out Tibber. Why not, guys? Let's have a little fun with it. I like mixing our Pokemon up. I'm going to go for the Ice Fang. Hopefully, we are faster. We are faster than the Salamence. Surprisingly, with that... Oh, yeah, Salamence is down. That's what I like to see. That's what I really like to see. Good stuff. And let's see, who's got, who's got, he got coming out? He's got Flygon. I could probably crush this Flygon with an Ice-type move definitely could crush this thing so let's go for the ice fang then guys also moon blast could have been absolutely a menace here too so you know moon blast or the dragon type moves either of them could have crushed this gym as you guys may know fairy types strong against dragon nowadays so it makes it you know quite easy with that flag on is down and uh, wow that elite four 
took nothing. We kicked some serious butt there, guys. We defeated Elite Four Drake. Superb! It should be said! We received 8,800 for winning, and we have defeated the fourth member of the Elite Four. You deserve every credit for coming this far as a Pokemon trainer. You do not seem to know what is needed. Yes, what a trainer needs is a true and virtuous heart. It is through their contact with trainers that Pokemon learn from right from wrong. The influence of their trainers, good heart, heal, helps them grow strong. Go, go onward, the champion is waiting. Okay, with that, guys, we have defeated the fourth member of the Elite Four, and I'm a little bit nervous. I'm gonna go ahead and take a seat right here. But can I? All right, guys, I'm gonna chill right here for like two seconds. I'm gonna catch my breath. I'm gonna relax a little bit, you know, just uh, maybe take a little nap, chill over here, because next time we are headed into the final room of the Pokemon League. Four Elite Four members down, no more to go. If you guys have any tips, let me know. Make sure to give this video a like. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode when we take on the champion. Goodbye.